Okay. Alexa's heart fluttered like it had done the time she'd fucked the farmer's cross-eyed son and uncrossed his eyes. What do you mean? she asked. Dr. Gert Lichand dropped the boxes and marched over to the vaccine cabinet. He threw open the door and grabbed the vaccine. The very same vaccine Alexa had added an extra drop of COVID-19 to. I'll do it, he said. Alexa gasped. Doctor, no! Alexa, please, call me Bob. Alexa gasped. Bob, no! Yes, Alexa, he said sternly. He took a syringe out from his lab pocket and popped off the lid of the test tube. Pop! Then Dr. Gertlichund dipped the needle into the vaccine and drew the blue liquid up into the liquid holding part of the syringe. <laughs> Bob, you can't, said Alexa, grabbing his bicep. It was so small, so weak. Alexa, I can, he said, and I will, I have to. You might die. Better me than some helpless children. Dr. Gertlichand rolled up the sleeve of his arm. I have to do this, Alexa. I didn't tell you this before, but I, I have the coronavirus. Alexa gasped, gasped again, then covered her mouth as she realised she and Dr. Gertlichund were not practising social distancing etiquette. So this is my only option, he said proudly. Dr. Ashingtonford, if the trial doesn't work, it has been an honour working with you. Alexa nodded and stepped back two metres. Then... Dr. Gertlichund plunged the syringe into his arm and the blue liquid disappeared into his veins. There was a moment of silence. Alexa had never seen Dr. Gertlichund in this way before. So brave. So selfless. Maybe she had misjudged him. Maybe. Maybe. He fell to the floor. Doctor! exclaimed Alexa with panic-driven fear. No, he yelled. Don't come any closer. I have it under control. For some reason, the lights flashed. Wind whipped around the lab, lashing Alexa's hair back and forth and shaking her ample breasts. There was lots of sound and shaking, and Alexa's heart hammered harder than the time she was hammered by the carpet fitter when he came to fit carpets in her country manor. God damn it. Alexa edged back, pushing back until her back pushed back against the wall. Dr. Gertlichon screamed. He clutched his chest. He crawled around the back of his workspace as the wind whipped up and the lights flashed again. Then, silence. The wind settled and Alexa's hair fell perfectly against her shoulders. Dr. Gertlichon? She breathed. Nothing. Um, Bob? Who is Bob? came a voice. Alexa blinked. Who? What? Bob? uttered Alexa. What do you mean? I know no Bob. I don't know. Who is saying this? A hand clamped down on the workspace. It looked like a normal hand, except it was green. Dr. Gertlichund, what happened to your hand? wailed Alexa. I don't know who that is, came a bellowing bellow which rattled the beakers and tinkled the tubes around the lab. Alexa stepped away from the wall, her heart ravaging the inside of her chest. She took tiny steps, sorry, one second, towards Dr. Gertlichund, her breath short and sharp. A second hand slammed down on the surface and Alexa squealed. 
It too was green. There was a low groan, almost like a growl, which deepened and became a roar, a guttural, animalistic roar. So strong and powerful, it made Alexa's clitoris judder with anticipation. Fuck. Then, one detail at a time, Dr. Gertlichon stood from behind the workspace to reveal himself. His strong brow, piercing blue eyes, supple lips, a wide jaw like the trunk of a car, bulky thick shoulders, a flat stomach, a bulge in his trousers the size of a medium-length python, legs, and presumably feet, but Alexa couldn't see those behind the desk. His body had grown so much his lab uniform had torn. His thighs had obliterated his pants, muscle poking out like a cheeky kitten. His pectoral muscles were so large and toned they practically hummed. The tip of his penis winked out above his belt line and Alexa was positive he wasn't even erect. She couldn't stop staring. And it was green. In fact, all of him was green. And he was covered in small green bumps, which sciencey people like Alexa called spike proteins. <laughs> Wait! If he had spike proteins protruding from his body, wouldn't that mean he was... No. No. It couldn't possibly be. No. But it could just be. Dr. Gertlichund? asked Alexa. Is that you? He shook his head. Are you in there, Dr. Gertlichund? Bob? No, said the enormous green man. He was at least a metre taller than Dr. Gertlichund had been, and almost twice as wide. Then who are you? asked Alexa. I don't know. Do you know who you are? I think so, he said. Or should I ask what you are? He nodded, his bustling neck muscles contorting. Are you the virus? Yes, he said. You're coronavirus, COVID-19? Yes. What happened to Dr. Gertlichund? I consumed him. Why? The injection. The vaccine trial. How? He had the virus. There were traces of the virus in the vaccine. Vast traces. Adding them together created more virus than a man could handle. I'm the result. You are COVID-19? Yes. He had a sad expression. Alexa wasn't sure what she felt. It wasn't fear. It wasn't anguish. It was intrigue. Perhaps a little excitement. He stepped forward. Don't come any closer, exclaimed Alexa. Even though... Uh, sorry. Even though she secretly wanted him to get closer. Much closer. She's left. Jesus God. <sighs> nope, that's enough. All right. <sighs> what happened to Dr. Gertley Chand? I consumed him. Why? The injection, the vaccine trial. How? He had the virus. There were traces of the virus in the vaccine. Vast traces. Adding them together created more virus than a man could handle. I'm the result. You are COVID-19? Yes. He had a sad expression. Alexa wasn't sure what she felt. 
It wasn't fear. It wasn't anguish. It was intrigue. Perhaps a little excitement. He stepped forward. Don't... No, sorry. Don't come any closer, exclaimed exclaimed Alexa, even though she secretly wanted him to get closer. Much closer. It's fi- It's fine, he said softly. I can sense that you're immune. Immune to the virus? she asked. To you? Yes, he said. You're asymptomatic. You had the virus without even knowing. Does that mean Dr. Gertlichund was infected because of me? He nodded. A single tear trickled down Alexa's rosy red cheek and she closed her eyes. This was her fault. Suddenly, a strong chunk of a finger rubbed across Alexa's cheek. The virus had wiped wiped it away for her. He had been strong, but soft, assertive, yet caring. Alexa's clitoris floundered. (laughs) She shouldn't be feeling this way. She should be frightened, terrified. But she didn't feel any of that. The virus opened his hand and Alexa nestled her cheek into it. It was like laying on a warm, welcoming pillow, soft and strong, dreamy and happy. Some other nice things she couldn't even describe. I'm sorry, Dr. Gertley Chund, she whispered. He's gone, said the virus. I'm here now. She nodded and shuffled towards him. He opened up his body, allowing Alexa to be engulfed in his skin and muscles. She felt his convulsing member against her waist. It was so warm. uh, No, sorry. It was so long and warm and fat, like an arm without bones. She wondered... She wondered what it would look like when erect. What's your name? she asked. Call me Covid, he said. There was something about being wrapped in his arms. She should have been scared, but instead she felt safe. The safest she's ever felt. She looked up at him. His eyes were striking, like a goat's, but without the sideways pupils. She couldn't look away, and they seemed to be growing, bigger, wider, sexier. But Alexa suddenly realised they weren't getting bigger. They were getting closer. So close she could see the details in his face. The spike proteins lapping away from his skin. His lips. So close she could taste them. His tongue. So soft and hot. Like a chunk of microwaved fish. Sloshing around inside her mouth. A big hand grabbed at her even bigger breast, clinging on like he was climbing a mountain. Covid tore at her lab coat, revealing her perfectly round breasts. He lowered his neck and chewed away her bra. What? Allowing it to drop to the floor so her breasts were unleashed. They bounced around like water balloons glistening in the summer sun. She had nice nipples. Covid licked Alexa up and down. Her knees buckled and she fell. But Covid reacted fast and caught her, laying her down softly on the cool tiled floor. But she didn't want him to have all the fun. She snatched at his pants, ripping what remained of them away and releasing his beast of a cock. It swelled like a balloon, being filled with helium, rising up, standing to command, begging for her to take it in her hands. 
She grabbed it and began to stroke it up and down. Covid groaned but didn't stop lapping at Alexa's body. His cock rocked up and down with appreciation, the veins bulging out further than she'd ever seen. <sighs> need, I need to take a breath. She took him deep in her mouth, her throat stretching as, as he continued to grow, but this only enticed her more as she took more and more of his cock, slobbering all over it and grunting with appreciation. Then he pulled it out and it made a popping sound. What? Pop! And he spun her over, clamping his hands down on her ass. <sighs> Spreading her ass cheeks wide so he could thrust his warbling member to her pocket of ecstasy. It was like an earthquake had hit the lab. Covid thrust and thrust and thrust and all Alexa could do was grab hold of the table legs and try not to crack her teeth on the floor as she lay there open mouthed gasping, desperate to cry out in pleasure, but not able to make a single sound. Her pussy tightened around Covid's cock and his grunting made it tighten further. She'd never experienced anything like it, and as she came, her entire body spasmed and she writhed around like a... What? Like a... She writhed around like a bumble ball with no off switch. <laughs> a firm hand cracked against her ass and Covid grunted like a thunderclap. He filled her with love lotion, which oozed out instantly and spread right across the floor. That will, without a doubt, thought Alexa, take a long time to clean up. But Alexa didn't care. She'd just been fucked like she'd never been fucked before. She felt amazing. She felt alive. She felt... What was this feeling? A warmth, both inside and out. Bubbly, like cola, ran through her veins. As Covid wrapped her in his arms like she was the filling in a burrito, she realised that she never wanted to be apart from him. She wanted to spend eternity encased in his warming warmth. Was this love? She'd never felt it before. Lust, absolutely. But love? Never. So was this it? Was it? Was it? She looked up into Covid's eyes and he stared sorry, right back. Her heart raced. Sweat poured from her pores. He had undoubtedly taken her breath away. For the rest of the evening, Alexa and Covid remained in their embracing embrace, barely able to take their eyes away from one another. Gone were Alexa's worries. No more did she mourn Doc Dr. Gertley Chund. Missing... Missing was her aching... Missing was her aching to be savage. What the fuck? Missing was her aching to be savaged vaginally. Oh my god. She had listened to her heart and vagina and allowed herself to succumb to Covid's charm. She had ignored what her head had said, the dread, and instead she had embraced love. She lay still and listened to Covid's heart, and she closed her eyes, and she rested, and rested, and... No, that's... Uh, the end, I guess.